I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your cattle market summary for the week ending April the 21st and right now this time of year is when it's really fun to be in the cattle production business either whether you're a cow calf man or or just a backgrounder or a grazer or whatever you are uh, this is one of the good times of year uh, most everybody's done calving it, it's fun to go out and watch those little calves running around and and most of them all healthy and doing good uh, if you've got cattle turned out, if you're a backgrounder and, and got some cattle turned out on grass, this is when it's fun. You've got uh, ample grazing out there. Most areas have adequate moisture and, and uh, you've got all your cattle straightened up and you've got them turned out and it's, it's fun. And you can see that God put cattle on earth to graze. Uh, it's very obvious this time of year when you got cattle turned out. And, and uh, you can take a cold one and maybe uh, go drive through them or ride your horse or four-wheeler or whatever your choice is how you like to do it but it's it's a really fun time of year to be in the cattle business but uh, you look at the, the markets were, were awesome last week too and that just adds to it whenever you can kind of sit back and, and see the things that you have equity in being worth more and more money every day and you could sure see that last week you look at the board for last week live cattle futures june contract monday was up 87 tuesday up seven cents wednesday up 30 thursday up 52 and friday up 22 cents albeit they weren't big gains but uh, you don't see a week where all five days of the week were, were a gainer but it was this week ended up with june contract settling for the week at 116.70 that's up two dollars even it's a nice gain there. If you look at the April uh, live, live cattle spot market there, all the way up to 129.80, and just continuing to try to run down this cash market, been fun to watch it do it. For the week, the April uh, contract gained 443 and nearly $10 in the last two weeks. And that, that's really a skyrocket market there, trying to run down the cash. And that's the way it ought to be is, is uh, the cash ought to dictate what the board does and not the opposite. But your feeder cattle futures, the May contract, Monday was up $1.75, Tuesday down seven cents, Wednesday up a quarter, Thursday down 57, and Friday down 50 to end the week at 139.25, which is real cl close to what cattle are bringing now, but that's not the spot market. We've still got an April market and it's not quite that good, but. Uh, up 85 cents for the May contract there. As you look at your fat cattle market for last week, uh, we had we had a, uh, the market was mostly established on Wednesday, but then had some more Thursday trade where your dressed market was really established. But uh, 113,900 head through Thursday. Uh, no doubt we'll have a few more than that, but your live market was 130 to 133. Uh, mostly 132 in Texas, mostly 130, 131 in Kansas, and Colorado and Nebraska at 133. Very few sales up in Iowa, but that's two to four dollars higher on a live basis. Your dress market established Thursday at 212, uh, five to six dollars higher. Your weighted average is not going to be near that good because they had a few dragon sales there that was lower than that, but 212 is an awfully good dress market. Box beef cutout values had large gains last week. Choice carcasses at 215.63. That was up 569. Selects at 202.49. That's the average of last week's trade. That's up 387. You see a big wide spread between the choice and select, and that has so much to do with uh, the guys in the northern plains, especially pulling green cattle uh, that don't have a lot of days on them and uh, are not uh, quite getting as many. Uh, choice and, and prime catalyst what uh, we have been seeing here for the last several months but you look at that actual dressed weight that's really really backed off uh, for the last week's report on that that come out was actually for the week of uh, that ended April the 8th but 852 pounds on an average of the actual dress steer weight that's down 10 pounds from the previous report was down 28 pounds from the same time a year ago and down six pounds from the five-year average and we normally see those weights decrease uh, moving into this time of year because guys are feeding calves rather than yearlings and the yearlings are, tend to get bigger and the calves kind of peter out when you when you go to feeding them for that long and, and they don't uh, continue to get as big as some of those big uh, aging yearling cattle but 
This year it has decreased more than twice as fast as it has the last couple of years. So uh, we've really been pulling those lighter cattle. Cattle on feed report come out on Friday there. Not a, a big, big uh, shake up one way or the other other than the placements, but you look at your inventories for April 1st, come out at 100%. That's exactly what the estimates were from the analysts that had predicted what it was gonna be. Your marketings were 110 and that's great but that's what they had predicted, so there's not a big shake up there. But uh, your placements is gonna be a little bearish there because your March placements are 111%. Your average of the analyst guess was 106, but uh, that 111% is the highest March placement in ever since they started doing it like this. Back in 1996, that's over 20 years. But uh, you look at that the inventory report there, your steers were actually down a little bit on your inventories, but heifers were up 5%. So we saw that uh, we had more heifers placed on feed back there that, uh, that were on the inventory April the 1st. Look at your cash feeder markets for the week last week. All classes were 2 to $5 higher, both calves and yearlings pretty much. Uh, these Monday markets that we're going into this week, your big volume Monday markets, uh, will probably be a little bit higher. Probably not gangbusters uh, like we saw in the last couple of weeks, but uh, should be on the positive side, at least a strong steady to a couple dollars higher. Um, we saw some monster prices in the Northern Plains last week, and, uh, and that's really been pushing things up. But you look at your real-time index on Beef Market Central, all the way up to 139.69 to end the week. That was $4.19 higher than, than the close of last week's RTI. It's well ahead of the CME feeder cattle index because your CME feeder cattle index has been inflated here so far this year because the big droves of cattle has been going through the Northern Plains sales. And it's easy for a CME or for market news to get a lot of cattle in that CME index sitting in them big sales with those huge runs but they don't get near as much percentage of the cattle in an auction in in the southern plains because a lot of times a lot of those smaller deals don't get put in like they do on the automated report on beef market central but uh, you see the rti is running quite a bit ahead of what cme index is look at a couple of individual quotes uh, late in the week on friday lexington nebraska had a big string 177 steers there as you see on beef market central at one o'clock in the afternoon, weighed 809 pounds at 152 and a quarter. Winter, South Dakota, ways up the road there, had a load of 941 pound steers, big heavy steers there at 136.50, five o'clock in the afternoon. So that's your report for last week there from a home DV auction office here in Canyon, Texas. We'll talk to you on Wednesday.